Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. For the next 10 minutes, I would like to briefly introduce the Global Forum on Cyber Expertise, also called the GFCE. Further, I will discuss the GFCE main activities and results. And finally, I will give some reflections on international cyber capacity building developments. I am David van Duren, head of the GFCE Secretariat. The GFCE Secretariat was established in the summer of 2015. Main task is to facilitate the GFC members who launched the GFC at the Global Conference on Cyberspace in April 2015 in The Hague. The GFC was launched with 42 members at that time. So, what is the GFC? The GFC is an informal and global platform launched, like I said, in 2015. The GFC consists of 57 members, and these members are countries, international organizations, or private organizations. Hence, the GFC is a multi-stakeholder platform. The main focus of the GFC is cyber capacity building. And over the past years, there has been an increasing interest in the topic of cyber capacity building within the international community. This was, for example, highlighted during the third global conference on cyberspace in Seoul in 2013. Cybersecurity was put on the agenda, raising awareness for this topic. And during the fourth global conference on cyberspace in The Hague, a structure was provided for global cyber capacity building. The Global Forum on Cyber Expertise was launched. The GFCE has two key goals. First, to identify best practices from a national or regional level and multiply these on a global level. And second, to connect relevant organizations in the field of cyber capacity building and bringing them together. In this slide, you see a map detailing the geographical distribution of our member countries, as well as a list of international and private organizations that are part of the GFCE community. Member countries are dark orange colored in the map and outreach by the GFCE through international organizations like the European uh, Community, European Union, and um, African Union and the Organization of American States is colored light orange in the map. A key element of connecting our members with each other is through concrete GFC initiatives. They are key to the GFCE. These initiatives are launched by two or more members based on the members own needs and interest for cyber expertise. An initiative mostly includes parties with relevant expertise, so-called GFCE partners. The initiatives build towards attaining practical outcomes. Ideally, best practices stemming from initiatives are shared with other GFCE members and are afterwards used by other members for implementation purposes. A second key element of the GFCE is that there is strategic discussion on, on capacity building. The GFCE therefore provides an overview of existing capacity building efforts worldwide. This is done by the Global Cyber Security Capacity Building Center based in Oxford. The Cyber Capacity Building Portal, with an overview of cyber capacity building efforts worldwide, reflects the GFC vision of making cyber capacity building expertise available to the global community. The GFC mission is also to get cyber capacity building higher on the political agenda. Therefore, visibility and strategic discussion is facilitated. The third key element is the facilitation of the GFC initiatives and activities through a support structure. That's why the GFC Secretariat is established. It's based in The Hague. Here we see an overview of existing initiatives. Regional initiatives are indicated with color markings. And furthermore, there are currently six global initiatives. At this moment, we have 13 in initiatives within the GFC and about 10 coming up. These initiatives can be divided in two groups. Global initiatives, 
could be of interest of all members and mostly they are about a specific topic like c shirt maturity or awareness or critical inf information infrastructure protection and also regional initiatives one or more members are committed to help a specific region like southeast asia africa or the americas the initiative mostly has a broad scope meaning that they include a broad program with several topics focused on awareness. So what are the results that are obtained within the GFCE? Firstly, various practical deliverables have been attained through the initiatives, such as toolkits and practical reports. Secondly, the GFC helped to develop a global online database of cap capacity building initiative I mentioned before. And thirdly, to facilitate the exchange of expertise through the organization of various international expert meetings and workshops. And most notably, the GFC annual meeting. Fourthly, the GFC advisory board has been established to advise the GFC members. This board includes representatives from academia, civil society, and the tech community. Yet, the work of the GFC is far from finished. In the near future, the G GFC initiatives will make the shift from awareness to implementation. Another development target is the strengthening of interaction between existing initiatives. This way, initiatives can also strengthen each other and the GFC, GFC community could become more networked as a result. A recurring activity of the GFC is a search for more initiatives and more participation. There are many topics that the G GFCE that are not covered by the GFCE yet. For example, crisis management, cybersecurity education, cybercrime training, cyber strategies, all kinds of of important topics that we are working on. So let's do a quick recap of some of the GFCE main development challenges. As mentioned previously, we believe it, it is necessary to shift from awareness to implementation. Because of the growing need for implementation, we believe that more resources are necessary this means that cyber capacity building should be higher on the political agenda. One of the ways to achieve this is through, for example, the GCCS in India in 2017, where, we, where the GFC aims to develop a common agenda on cyber capacity building. Aside from involving more parties in the cyber domain, it's also increasingly necessary to connect these parties with each other and to coordinate among them. This way, the resources that are at the disposal of the cyber capacity building community can be used more eff efficiently, reducing overlap. The GFCE tries to strengthen international cooperation and coordination on cyber capacity building by connecting the dots, that means bringing relevant parties together, transparency, making information and expertise available for the GFC and the global community, Providing an overview of what's done globally, I mentioned the cyber capacity building portal of the Global Cyber Security Capacity Building Center in Oxford on this regard, and developing a global agenda on cyber capacity building to present at the GCCS 2017. This helps to get internationally a more common focus and ambition on cyber capacity building and raise political attention for this important topic. So far, ladies and gentlemen, my presentation. If you have any questions left, please contact the GFC Secretariat or you can visit our website to find information. Thank you for your attention.